too tiny for my eyes. The sun is the radiance of the glory of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by the power of his word. That word radiance, it's lightning. Luke 9.29. And then I'll... 9.29. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became bright as the flashes of lightning. That's our destiny. And I'm not speaking allegorically. The power of this lightning stuff is incredible. The most holy place, when the high priest entered into that place, he brought with him, what? Incense, fire, and blood. What is that incense? Praise, prayer, thanksgiving, intercessions, worship. In that realm of fire mixed with the prayers of the saints, the worship of the saints, the thanksgiving, the intercession, those components together with the blood of Jesus will allow us to enter into the throne filled with lightning. I don't have that scripture reference here. I was trying to find it where, where, where we had the four angels and the elders and the throne and, and everything that was in that realm was just flashes of lightning. What are those flashes of lightning? They're messengers. What are those messengers going out as a result of? Our prayers. Flashes of lightning. Prayers. Thanksgiving. Praise. Worship. Dance. That is the realm that our Father is calling us into. And that is what we will be experiencing in the days ahead, corporately. He's going to put us in that crucible, and he's going to grind our carnality and all that stuff out of us, that fleshly stuff, that we might be a holy incense unto him, and that we might offer him worship that is worthy of a God who answers by fire. I'm almost done, Rick. I have a, you know, we're, we're going to do a DVD and about a half, half of it, an hour of it is going to be just on the natural sides of lightning and what it does in our atmosphere. Uh, and then the second half of it is going to be the spiritual counterfeit of, what, of all the, the types and shadows of natural lightning. What we right here, this, this house right here, this, the, the, this very people is called to enter into that throne room and to, and to be comfortable in that realm of lightning. Um, years ago, when I first got saved, the Lord gave me a little vision um, from me. But I want to share it and I want to impart it to some of you, um, you in particular. This vision as of today is yours. Um, I saw this vision of the earth and it was greatly reduced. And there were just a, all the people of the earth were just bound to the earth like with ropes. If any of you have ever read Gulliver's Travels, you, you know, on the island of the Lilliputians, um, 
Gulliver was chained, you know, he was giant, and all these little, little guys had him chained to the earth. He was trapped, caught, stuck to the earth. And I saw myself as a little two or three year old, and I still had diapers on, and I had a sword in my hand. And I had a silver umbilical cord connected to my thing here that reached to heaven. And I saw myself just chopping off the cords that were holding God's people in bondage to the low life. Little boy, big sword, silver umbilical cord, and I didn't connect today, until today, that that silver umbilical cord was a lightning bolt. It's my connection to my Heavenly Father, from which we get our strength. And that vision is yours today. You're called to go to the, through the earth with the sword out of your mouth and to set God's people free. And he will provide because you are connected in the spirit to the father of all spirits. And just like nothing will stand in the way of the lightning of God, nothing will stand in your way. And all of you can take...